and welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day it's the 23rd of august 2023 hope you're having a good wednesday so far it's mike smith senior analyst of gold markets here to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the asian session coming across the news today it was a mixed session on wall street overnight indices started relatively positively but gave up most of those early gains closing towards the lows of the session and we are really in waiting for the fed chairman who's going to deliver a speech at the jackson hole symposium on friday and big pmi data out globally today u.s futures are slightly higher in the asian session so far but asian markets are generally negative the asx however is having a good day it's up around about 0.5 percent as earnings help the index overall the nikkei has also just moved into positive territory the rest of the indices are looking a little shy today european futures are pointing to a cautious open at this stage and the vix paused after its last week's slight up move the us dollar index rose again in the fx world to early june highs a gold despite this bounced off the lows not seen since feb may retest 1900 during the course of today copper continues to edge higher and is comfortably over 375 oil however drifted down and may challenge support although we do get the eia data out this evening bitcoin has been under significant pressure over the last few days but it has held above 26,000 both yesterday and today so it looks as though that recent drop has paused where it is now while investors take stock of what's happening it is a big earnings week on the asx as we've already referenced our global PMI data throughout the day is likely to be the major market mover. We do have some US housing data later this evening, and we do have the Jackson Hole Symposium starting tomorrow with, as we said, Jerome Powell speaking Friday. Just a couple of charts that caught our eye today. If we start by looking at TWE on the ASX, we're rechallenging a key level at $12. You can see the importance of this level. It's tested multiple times over the last couple of weeks, and it was a key level back in may here at subsequent to this drop we see some upside in here possibly to close that gap in the short term perhaps a move through 12 dollars is the key to get in and then maybe a five percent move up possibly to test this 1260 level in the coming weeks is certainly on the cards this is possibly worth a look at the aussie us which is seeing some buying over the last few days you can see that pause on this downtrend that's really been in place since the middle of july it happened about four days ago uh, we hit the lows and since then we've seen this up move we've seen some positivity in markets today as a medium term move this could move its way up to 65.20 which is around about 65 pips from where we're trading now we just look at a four hourly chart you can see this in a little more detail just be aware it may get stuck around a, that round number of 65 which would still be a reasonable move up of around about 50 pips in the short term trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now